Lights now go on. Set and they're ready. Race four. Big Caroline was the first to go when the starter released the field and Sariska's been anchored straight back towards the rear and Forceful's going to be back there as well. Hill's going to send sharp Bob Ford outside Ruby and Miss when they go through the first 250 from Big Caroline. Also up there, Quality Fair. Trapped a little bit wide though, Turbo Power being trailed by Denim Pack. The speed had come off and Count to Mozov throwing his head around back in the field has to check back. On his inside, Sariska followed by Forceful. He's out three wide and a very compact field and last of all is you watching me. Ruby Amiss leads them at the 600 metre mark to the home corner. Ruby Amiss over Sharp Bob who couldn't cross. Turbo Power they parked in the cheap seats. Torino's even wider. It goes up four deep in front of Turbo Power coming into the bend. Over on the inside Big Caroline Quality Fair looking for a run back inside of those and Forceful starting to wind up as he goes for a run back towards the inside with Denim Pack. There's no room there at the 200. Forceful let down quickly dashed up and grab them. It's Forceful sprinting clear. Down the outside, you watching me, Torino battling. He's got the whip on Forceful, though, and Forceful draws clear. Forceful gets home to win again. Beat Denim Pack and Sariska getting through in the middle, I think, third. From Torino, quality fair count to Mozov. Wide out, you watching me. Then Turbo Power, Sharp Bob next home. Ruby a miss. Well, she dropped right out as well to beat one in. That's Big Caroline who brings up the tail. Number three, Forceful makes it a winning hat-trick. It's a double here in successive races for William Pike. Settled it back. He didn't mind being three deep because the speed came off so quickly there. They were bunched up like sardines. And uh, Pike was just happy to be sitting with cover three deep and knew that he wouldn't be impeded at all in the straight. He let Forceful down. This uh, promising son of hard spun, quickened, let go, put them away. Denim Pack will be second ahead of Sariska who was searching for runs back there near the middle after dropping out early and finding the fence. Forceful for Peter's investments trained by Grant and Alana Williams. William Pike brought down the outside. Denim Pack a bit stiff there. He was going to go for a run back inside. Forceful. Forceful laid in and then uh, Denim Pack had to come to the outside. Uh, he was winding up and Sariska was following it directly through on its inside and uh, they've run the minor placings from either Quality Fair or Torino. Let's go over with uh, Britt Taylor once again. Uh, Britt, and, uh, look, he's a, he's a bit of a brute, this three-year-old forceful, but he's certainly showing signs of great promise. Thanks, Darren. I am with Pikey and forceful wins again. Did Barrier 12, you said it before in the previous race that it was just going to be a matter of making luck from the bad barrier, but did it end up being a blessing? Actually, as the race unfolded, yes, uh, we went very slow. And I, even though I covered a lot of extra ground, I was in the moving line, and this horse really appreciates that. He's a horse that can sort of get up onto the bit. Was it, when you were able to just shift out a little bit and give him a little bit of room on that outside bit, was, is that really helpful for him? Yeah, I think it is. Um, hopefully next time round he'll chill and he'll come and play our game a little bit more, but right now he's just running on ability and if we can get him to come to our, our party a little, we, we might have a really nice horse. Was there still a little bit for him to learn at the end? Yeah, definitely. He, uh, he waited, he clocked off and uh, yeah, floated around quite a lot late, so there's still a little bit more there. And show Honey in the next. Can she get another win on the board before heading off to the breeding barn at the end of the year? Uh, yes, definitely. That's the aim. She's, uh, she's a little bit of a tricky one as well. So if I get the right run, she'll, she will let down. Congratulations on another win. Thank you very much. Yeah. By Bob Peters, that was a good effort by your boy. Usually we're seeing him held up in between horses and then still win. But today that wide gate, he had clear galloping room throughout. Yes, I was listening to Darren's call and he was calling him three wide, but I was counting four. Yeah, but there was, there was a, the charge of the light brigade in front of him, in front of him anyway. No, there's nothing else he could do. And, uh, you know, I would have expected that the last 50 metres would have found him out, but it was a good sign. And uh, if he can learn to settle, he could be a nice horse. That indeed, Bob. But that was a, another confident boosting victory for himself. And even though he's doing a few little... Um, quirk's wrong at the moment, he's still winning. Yes, well he's, he's bred to stay so if, he's, if it's going to happen he has to learn to settle. What about Enticing Star? There's been a lot of talk over in the East etc. It's great for racing really to have a horse that captures the imagination. You walk into the pub and everyone who doesn't like racing want to talk about your filly or yeah, man. It's great for everyone else except me and us because 
you know, all we can do is go backwards. Everyone just expects her to win. That's racing, Bob. We'd probably rather be in that situation than not. At least you've got a good one again. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> good on you, Bob. Thank you. There we go. There's Bob Peters there. And um, he owns another winner. And he's got Enticing Star coming up a little later on. So well done um, uh, to Willie Pike once again, who brings up a double and forceful. Far too strong. Defeats the four and the 12. OK, we'll be back before race number five. And looking forward to seeing Super Maxi go around.